You know who makes America work? Let me tell you who makes America work. No matter how many ways we do it, this is just what works. Entrepreneurs. For many years, America, listen, before we get into it, I want to say this to you. I want you to understand how important our role is. I think the two people who are patriots in America are our patriots who put their life on the line. But I think the second patriots are entrepreneurs who put their salary on the line. You may not put your life on the line, but let me tell you something. You put your salary on the line. Who knows what I'm talking about when I say you put your salary on the line? Any entrepreneur know what I'm referencing when I say you put your salary on the line? Let me allude to what I mean by that. When you have a job and you're making your three, four, five grand every month consistently, it's security. You feel it's security. It's warm. It's comfortable. You, know, you get to have your barbecue once a month. You get to have a decent life. You got some nice benefits. You know, and somebody introduces you to an opportunity and you start working and most don't. 80% don't. They go back to protecting their salary. 20% say, man, this is scary. They have a conversation with their wife and their family and their husband. And they say, baby, I'm gonna make this decision. Babe, this is scary. I know, baby. And they go to sleep. And you know what happens to an entrepreneur when he goes to sleep? He has a lot of anxiety attacks. He has worries. She stresses out. They think about their bills. They see savings deplete. They see all of a sudden things happen. But do you know why they do it? They do because they have a dream. Because they don't want to live an average and ordinary life. And neither do you. If you're here tonight, you don't. You have a choice to go out there and play poker right now if you wanted to. You have a choice to go out there and play blackjack if you wanted to today. But you're here today. You don't have to be here today. You're not an employee like Bridgestone to be here today. You chose to be here today. It is your choice to be here today. You chose. Whether you get up and walk out right now, we cannot fire you. You have chosen to be in this room today because we prefer choice over force is what we as human beings prefer is choice. I want to choose because I want what I want to do. Two of the most honorable jobs any human being could take is being in the military and being an entrepreneur because both of them have a lot of risk. If you're in the military, you could get killed. If you're an entrepreneur, you could get killed. You don't do it for the small little thing. Both of them have the same outcome. You know what the outcome is, both of them? It starts with the letter F. What is it? Freedom. Why do 41 million immigrants come here? And number two, countries, 11 million, Russia. Why do people come here? Why? Because we want to be free, man. I think most companies are talking about whether they hit your numbers or not. I think most companies are talking about the smaller stuff. And what they don't realize is they're going to live 80 years and they'll die. And no one will remember them but a few people. And within two generations, they're forgotten. And history will not favor them. I don't see a purpose in that. I really don't think the Creator gave you all those unique gifts that you got you know, just to go out and be a regular person. I don't. And I don't think you do either. I think when you're alone by yourself and you're kind of talking to yourself in a car or in front of the mirror and you think you really are special, guess what? You really are special. But you only believe that for a split second and you go back to feeling like you're not special. So we got to get you to feel like you're special more often and you are responsible for that, not us all the time.